Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we dug open a crack in the mountain to find Mognet Central! So this is where all the Moogles come from. And they got Mogsteam here playing 24-7, alright! Nice reference to Final Fantasy VI, but uh, oh, what's going on? What do you mean? You guys have been delivering letters just fine. Oh, no! I wonder if that's what the Moogles were talking about earlier. They were saying they were having, they hadn't received any mail lately, you know? Like something's going on or whatever. If only. You're not going to tell me what that item is, are you? I, I guess not. I mean, can you just sort the mail the old-fashioned way or something? Ooh, used what on yourself? Oh, well, that's fine. Nothing wrong with... Oh. What was it? You're not going to tell us. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's nothing we can do here now, but I figured I'd just point this out to keep that in mind for later viewers. I don't think we can do anything there until disc 4, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. So, if you can do it earlier, let me know, viewers, but I don't think we can. Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, let's see, cancel there, and get rid of that on my map screen there, and... Now, remember the first time we went to the Aoife tree, I was saying there was a particular blue magic spell that I wanted to learn, but I could not because I didn't have Kino along. He was too busy uh, feeding his fat face. So uh, now we can actually go over there with Kina. Just because the tree is dead doesn't mean the enemies are. So n nothing to worry about there. So let's head on over there then. But yeah, everything's... I don't know if everything's still the same, but... I know the initial areas are still the same, so we should be able to find the enemy I'm looking for. If I, uh, we're, essentially, we're looking for a zombie. If I can't find it on the first try, then, well, I'll find it on the next try then. Or, well, I'll do a transition and find it off screen somewhere. Still got the epic music here. Awesome. Well, let's see if these are the zombies I'm looking for. Haha! -ha! There we go. Okay. So, first things first. Let's have Kina attack. Or not. Uh, Dagger, you attack. I don't want Zidane to attack, because he'll probably one-shot them, and that would be bad. Kina. Well, I didn't expect your rod to deal that much damage. Hmm. Nuts. Please don't melt. Please. Thank you. Maybe between Dagger and Ico, they can deal about 900, or a little over 900 damage. And then eat the zombie. Okay, okay, come on, Kina. Eat the zombie. Eat it before it melts. Before it goes stale. All right, got it. Roulette. Oh, that one took me quite a bit, quite a while off screen to get. Because the zombies kept on, oh, they kept on melting on me. And when they do that... They, they literally will melt, and they'll deal damage, I think, equal to their remaining HP. Which would be bad, because it's like 973. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty bad there. Okay, well, we got that. That's the important thing. Not that I'm ever really going to use it. It's pretty useful in Final Fantasy VI, although I never used it. But, like, you could time it. Oh, come on. You could time it with roulette where you could hit the right enemy, kind of like I was doing with uh, Setzer's uh, slot command in there. Now let's see, I do want to head down here, because there's another chokograph I want to go after. We could head to the Black Mage Village, but you know what, let's do that when we come back here, because I'm not going to do everything here in one trip. I'm just kind of circling around the world clockwise there. Okay, let's see. The next one I want to get is the Abandoned Lagoon. There we are. This one's pretty easy to get. Let's see. No. Oh. No. Where is it? Okay, I guess I lied. It's not that easy. No. No, it's right over here. I think it is. There it is. Got it. Ha! There we go. Quiet! There we go. And what do we get in this chest? We get some feather boots, awesome. They teach you auto float, not the greatest ability, but we get an Enkai armlet. Uh, I don't know what the N stands for. You got me on that one, viewers. It's better than King Kai's armlet. That probably wouldn't do you a whole lot of good, would it? 
Okay, so let's see. Is there one more thing? Yes, yes. One more thing I want to do. Not a chocograph, but uh, we want to head to the southeast of the outer continent. With, with the ocean chocobo, that is. And let's see. It's somewhere around here. Let's see. Ah, there it is. I think that's it. Yep, got it. The foamy water. Let's see. Uh, yeah, feed him a dead pepper. There we go. Let's see what we find in this one. Some awesome treasure. What is it? You get straw hats. This is the worst equipment in the game. Yeah, all this stuff has zero defense. Uh, everyone can equip it, even knights. But, uh, yeah, basically useless stuff. Although some of it can be sold for some pretty good cash, so... Well, all right, let's see. Now what I want to do is I want to go back up here, get back to the accused uh, marsh there, because, well, that's the only one I hadn't checked out again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll just catch frogs off screen here. And you know what? Then I'll meet you back at the Chocobos Forest because I want to uh, rearrange my party and equipment and everything because we got a lot of stuff to do here. So yeah, I'll just take care of this off screen then. Okay, we're back at the Chocobo's Forest. I just wanted to pick up my boat! So that way I could, well, pick up my other party members and rearrange my party as I have listed in the video description there. Got a lot of abilities that I want to work on for them because I'm going to be going friendly creature hunting! Uh, they get a lot of ability points. Uh, the only ones that I'm really going to go after right now are the ones at the Outer Continent. I'm going to save the other friendly creatures for later, like there's a friendly Garuda or a friendly Feather Circle that I can meet up with now, but they give a lot of ability points. I want to save them for end game abilities, which are going to take a lot more ability points to learn. So, there you go. Now, if you don't have the Ocean Chocobo to get to Alexandria, take a ship around here, and you can go through the harbor here, which is still accessible, even though the castle was destroyed, but I guess the blast didn't reach all the way down there. Now you'll notice in the video description with my setup there, I've got multiple items listed per equipment slot. The reason is because, well, we're going to meet up with all the friendly creatures on the outer continent there. So, like, I'm going to use one, like, dagger. I got three different jewels for three different summons. So I'm going to use one for one friendly creature, one for the next one, and one for the third one there. So just so you know, that's how I've got it listed there. Now there is one friendly creature that I can meet up with right over here on the way to the Black Mage Village to advance the plot. Well, if I can find the ladybug, great. Well, there we go. All right. Let's see what I can uh, give to this one. Or what the ladybug wants, I suppose. But yeah, you can just meet up with it in the forest on the way to the Black Mage Village. I figured I'd do that on the way. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with ores. And I think this one wants multiple ores. So let's uh, take care of that. Uh, there we go. Oh, sorry. I went through that a little quickly. If you wait a while, the ladybug says, I want more. Give me more. Oh, Friendly Yeti. That's the next one I'll be going after. But yeah, it's just like the cats. Like, well, particularly Lenny. When he's on my lap and he wants me to pet him, you know, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to record. Get off now. And then he'll get off, but then he'll just look up at me with the cutest look and he'll be like, well, come on. Pet me more. Now. I, I wasn't done yet. Stripe's a lot more independent like that. She won't, uh, she won't care. You know, she'll be like, okay, pet me. Okay, I'm done now. Uh, leave me alone. So, there we are. Huh. Well, looks like we wasted our time here. Might as well pack up our bags and go home. I, I keep on saying that, like, as though we have bags with us or luggage. But, yeah, you see, this is one reason why I brought the boat with me. Oh, yeah, the door's locked. Well, I guess they wanted to uh, at least keep the chocobo safe in there by locking the door. But yeah, all the houses are empty here. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this is why I bought the boat here. Because, you know, it makes logical sense for Vivi to be able to get here if I took the boat. If I took the chocobo here, how would he have gotten all the way over here? You know? Where'd they go? Oh, well there we go. Say it ain't so, Mr. 288! Say it ain't so! No, no. But yeah, they did go with him. Nuts. What does he want with them anyway? 
You know? I don't think they ever explain that. You know? I, I mean, he could just make more that, you know, aren't sentient. Or, I don't know, have monsters do his bidding or something. I don't know. I mean, oh. Well, come on. Squeal! Oh. Well, I guess he's not going to help us. Well, okay, I'm going to find the other guys and make them squeal! Are you going to tell us anything? No. No, I suppose not. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find the uh, other black mages at the low shack. No. No, just an ordinary shack. Well, let's follow Viv over here then. Hey, how's it going? Let us in. Open sesame. Or gasal. What do you mean? Could it be? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, slamming the door in my face there, Beef. Thanks. Hey, hey! All right! The baby chocobo! Or, uh, well, a chickabo, if you will, viewers. I don't think they've ever used that term outside of Final Fantasy VIII. Huzzah! I mean, hooray! Well, there you go. Just a little uh, tender loving care and you get a baby chocobo. Can we call it Boko? Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose someone had to stay behind there. Well, there you go. Is that what you use hay for? What do you use hay for in real life, like on a farm? I don't know. I always... The only thing I ever see hay for is in wrapped up bundles, so I don't know. Smithers, what's this strange feeling in my chest? Well, that's your heartbeat, sir. Can you guys tell us where the other guys went? We'll bring him back to see the baby Chocobo. Just as soon as we're done murdering, I mean, finding them at Kooja's place. Uh, I guess they're not going to tell us where he is. Huh. Ah. Uh, hmm. He looks so sad. Hmm. Well, yeah, the, the baby Chocobo. You couldn't just leave him behind. Straighten out your hat, Phoebe. There you go. Maybe you should get a shorter hat. You know, like the other black mages. Well, no, of course not. We've got life spells. It's still good, Vivi. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's referring to Vivi there. Hmm. Well, yeah, everyone dies eventually. Except Bailey's. Bailey's live forever. Because, uh, well, that's the flip side of the Bailey curse. We, uh, we get to live forever. But we also have to deal with the Bailey curse, too. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, is the Bailey curse, like, multiple curses, or is it just one curse? Uh, it's just one gigantic curse, viewers. Uh, we live so long that we accumulate all these idiosyncrasies, and that becomes the Bailey curse. So there you go. It doesn't affect women, though. Some people were asking, H.C. Bailey, what about the Bailey women? No. Now, Bailey women, they don't... Like, if I had a daughter, she would not be afflicted with the Bailey curse. If I had a boy, he would be. So, there you go. Yeah, women, they just get to put up with the Bailey curse. So, just ask my mom. Hey, hey, all right. Thanks a lot, man. That just kind of came out of nowhere. Are you done whining, Vivi? God, I mean, even Hope in Final Fantasy XIII didn't whine that much. Nah, nah, I'm just teasing. I like Vivi immensely more than Hope. Not that I think Hope's a bad character. I, I like him as much as anyone else. I don't find anyone in the cast annoying. But that's just me. Well, yeah, you did change. Now you don't have a voice. Are you happy with the change? Oh. What, you mean Vivi? You've known him for like, what, five days? Maybe. But anyway, yeah, this is also why I brought the boat here. Because it's like, well, how did all these characters get here? Well, that's how. Yeah, he stole your voice. We'll get it back. Revenge! That's the lesson for the kids. Okay, then. I guess, uh, well, I've got some other friendly creatures that I want to uh, f find around here. But then when I'm done, we'll head on to the east side of the continent and find Kuja's lair. 
next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.